Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to import any character with embedded motions from Motion Builder into iClone. For this example I'm going to use the embedded character Mia, which also contains animation data within Motion Builder. In Motion Builder you don't need to export your file, you can literally just go and save it, and the character file complete with motions will save as a multi-track FBX. When you open this FBX in 3D Exchange 5, all the embedded motion tracks will display in the motion library along with the character. The first step for any conversion is to select Convert to Non-Standard. After this, because the character is based on a Maya rig, I can just select the Maya Human IK Bone Mapping template, and the bone mapping is literally done in a single click. Note here that the designers of this particular model also added in a few more sections for the spine, so you'll also need to go in and map those as well. If there are multiple bones in the spine, you can start from the bottom and go up on the mapping reference image. If you want to check the mapping results, you can use the calibration motions after you select the active box. You can see in these various calibration tests that my character seems to have a pretty good mapping result for the upper body. If you're happy with the result, simply click Convert to move on to the next step. Now you can test out your motion in iClone before the actual export by selecting Apply to iClone in the Character section. You'll see your character appear in iClone. From there, select any one of your motions, and do the same thing and apply it to iClone when your character is selected. Your motion will immediately apply to your character in iClone. When you export a character with embedded motions in 3D Exchange, you'll have the option to select a separate directory for both your character and your motions, since iClone doesn't store them in the same place by default. Just enter in your preferred directory paths here. When you're in iClone, you'll then be able to go over to your Custom Character tab, find your character in its directory, and then go over to your Custom Motions folder and find that separate motion to apply to your character. The coolest thing is that now all the motions can be applied to any of your standard and non-standard characters in iClone. 